the next is to set takeoff thrust so we yeah should so when we then are on runway and we can now switch to the uh, air traffic control which so it's uh, to yeah we, we regress takeoff but now the Delta Airlines maybe yeah now this one is allowed to taxi onto the runway and now we taxi on the position where the Bombardier Dash 8 also 100 100 was waiting for the allowance for takeoff so let's stop it here Zero, four, yeah, so we are here at the right runway so that's just yeah it's good so TCAS is turned on so we will let uh, let the auto uh, co-pilot turned on during takeoff so that uh, we can focus on uh, the takeoff so here because we switched on the TCAS you can see all aircraft flying around here the airport but I don't think there's any aircraft coming in to land so is there anyone behind us? No. Is there an aircraft coming? Yeah, there. Also a Bombardier Dash 8 Q100. So, we are allowed to taxi onto the runway, so to do the lineup. So now we will do this. It's very great uh, uh, with the traffic here because of the add-on, because there are real airlines flying and uh, a lot of different aircraft so I like it very much and there's a lot of traffic here uh, so I said as I said I set the traffic to around about 40% and as you can see uh, at 40% here's also a lot of traffic so don't need to switch it to 100% but at 100% there would be much more traffic so direct departure so we got, al got the allowance to take off so we confirm it and now Let's go, take off. Okay, Goodbye, New go. York. Take Goodbye, off. airport. Newark, Liberty International. We are coming, Miami. Let's get to the south of America. We are accelerating. I put the uh, thrust levers full forward. So not the energy saving, uh, fuel saving uh, variant. But maybe it would also be possible. So where was the Scandinavian? I think there. There it is, the a Airbus A330. Check. So 100 knots. So and here normally the aircraft touch down. So and after takeoff we have to fly directly a little bit to the right. We won. Rotate. So now we get up into the air. Great. So on turn right directly. Gear up. But not too much. And also the scenery settings I set, apart from water, I set everything to max. So, yeah, it's different uh, to the flight before now. So you can see there every, all, all the buildings there at New York. And I think anywhere there is New York, John F. Kennedy, and there is Lagadia. So we got allowance to change the frequency. And we will do this now so we don't hear all the time what they are talking there on the ground flaps up. over speed flaps up now so but we need to keep on flying on the route a little bit more little bit more right climb thrust now because we reached 250 knots normally we should activate the climb thrust a little bit earlier check normal and we have to um, Check retracted. Gear up. So what, what, I want to, what I want to say. So we keep need to keep an eye on the other aircrafts flying around here so that we do not, uh, so there won't be any accidents with other aircraft. So we have the TKAS which warns us early enough if an aircraft gets too close. So because there's another aircraft now departing right behind us, and now we do a left turn and and yeah we will see but it's also shown there you can see all these points there so all other aircrafts flying close to us so i would say let's do direct too because this strange way we can't fly it there so why is there this community so delete it 
we are not allowed to do lead to this community so we're doing direct to this waypoint insert insert so and now it's a i would say we can activate a co-pilot autopilot and do climb to flight level 360 so and there the airport is newark and there's the next aircraft now departing also bombardier dash 8 100 and embraer is landing on the runway for right so next to the departing aircraft and here now we are flying directly through the cloud clouds I would crowds I would say <laughs> I said uh, clouds I mean so there you can see there are a lot of aircraft maybe they are all uh, flying to New York John F Kennedy so it looks great from up here with all the maxed out settings and yeah, great 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 so we can now speed up a little bit two times faster simulation rate so that the flight will not take uh, too long and look at the sky it looks great Lights off. I choose a uh, beautiful weather for the flight today so we um, crossed past the 10,000 feet now so the aircraft now accelerates to 219 knots uh, we let it controlled by the autopilot or here as it says here the autopilot takes the data from the MCDU but the only problem we are having at the moment is this this community which we were so we weren't able to delete it this one here manual and then this cell there maybe we then need to do a direct to <coughs> D cell or all Oscar Lima Delta Delta Echo because we are not allowed to do <laughs> I don't know why what's the problem why well, we are not allowed to clear the discontinuity but yeah we need to keep an eye on this so when we are there that we then do direct too. So good. Yeah. All right. And close it now. And we climb, and now we fly very straight. So and there, the route is very direct route. No big curves or something like this. So and there's a lot of traffic here around us. We can zoom in a little bit. So the Reference set pictures, per uh, pictures per second are not this great at the moment. There's an Airbus A320, so it's around about 10 FPS, but it should be better than during the uh, during landing. I hope so, but we will see. And there are other aircrafts landing at the airport. Maybe at was there John F. Kennedy? No, that's Newark. I think was New York, Newark down there. So as you can see, there's a lot of air traffic around here at New York. There's another, but it's a little bit smaller aircraft, it's a private jet. And I like this Delta aircraft, it's great. It looks so good. In general, I like the Airbus A320, it's a great aircraft, great small aircraft and it's great to fly. And it's, yeah, very nice aircraft. And I like to fly it and uh, the cockpit here is very ordered and yeah it's very easy to use and you find everything it's clear it's yeah it's very I think it's uh, easier to use easier to handle with the cockpit than in comparison to the cockpit of the uh, what's what what aircraft uh, the Boeing 737 so it's uh, maybe yeah no it is nearly the same s so they nearly have the same size so both aircrafts and they are made for the same distances so the 737-800 I mean and yeah but I think it's not so easy to use the 737-800 and I like uh, so the cockpit is not so easy to handle uh, it's much more easier to find everything at here and yeah I like the cockpit more it's more structured or for me for me in my opinion it's like this for me it's easier to use than the Boeing the cockpit of the 737 but it's also a great aircraft the Boeing 737 and I can use it also very good but I think the Airbus A320 is a little bit easier to use so the cockpit is a little bit more easier to use so we are accelerating to 280 knots or we are at 280 knots and nearly reaching our altitude, uh, 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 cruising altitude and we can open a new window so we can have a look during flight 
to the, air to the aircraft from outside and there's another aircraft flying dra directly behind us. It's a Boeing 747-200 Freighter. So now the sound is away, so no talking. Why is that? There it is again. Great. So and I hope we will have a great landing at the airport of Miami, so Miami International. But we will see then, so no, we can't see the Boeing there, here in the Andy. So we are now reaching our cruising altitude of 36000 feet. And now we can open flight decks, uh, these tables. So in the descent preparation, let's wait some seconds. Oh, it doesn't stand here at the moment, maybe in the next minutes it will stand there, then stand there, uh, which distance we need to fly until we reach the top of descent. And here you can see the distance of 920 nautic miles, something like, so 90, 922 nautic miles we need to fly until we reach um, Miami International and uh, the planned, planned arrival is at 9 UTC 1948, so 7.48 p.m. Um, yeah, maybe I write it down anywhere so we can have a look later on whether we were faster or not or slower and we also can no, we can't accelerate so there it is, no, it, is it the Boeing? no, it's no way, I can't see it anymore, the Boeing 747-200 Freighter no, it's away now. So yeah, um, I want to tell you something about uh, something about the add-on, uh, as I said. So, so yeah, as you recognize, there were a lot of real aircrafts. Uh, they're standing at the gates, at parking positions, all flying around and departing, and also a lot of different aircrafts. So, aircrafts of the air. Uh, made by Embraer, made by Boeing, made by Airbus, so A380, no there wasn't A380, but um, because of the add-on here also an a also A380s fly here, 747, 737, different types of 7 uh, 737s, also different types of 747s, 777, Embraer, AERJ, 190, 185, uh, what also, A320, A340, A330, so so it's also yeah bombardier bombardier aircraft i don't know what's uh, how it's pronounced this um manufactory the name bombay bombard bombardier bombardier i don't know <laughs> and yeah and this is all because of the aircraft my traffic 2013 i've bought recently Hello, just Would you like some coffee? several Enjoy. weeks ago thanks for the coffee great great <laughs> so yeah um and yeah, I bought this aircraft. Uh, this aircraft. <laughs> I bought this aircraft. No, I bought this add-on, my traffic 2013, just recently, so t several weeks, two, three, four weeks ago, and it's a very great add-on. It's yeah for real traffic, so it's for the traffic here in the FSX for, and yeah, it can. So because of the add-on here, real aircraft airlines are flying here: L Lufthansa, Delta Airlines, United Airlines. Southwest Airlines, Air Berlin, EasyJet, British Airways, what other aircrafts? Oh, airlines, I mean, um, yeah, a lot of different airlines are flying here, I think. No, I don't know the number, but uh, really a lot of air airlines, and I like this add on very much. But you also need uh, enough performance, uh, you p your PC needs a lot of performance so that everything is smooth and you do not you do not a uh, UPC does not crash and there's an out of memory or something like this I need around about five I have some drink for you captain here you are thank you very nice and yeah I, I, I looked it up and so no, no I didn't look it up I uh, I flew and then next to it I looked uh, how much RAM was used so and I 
and during the flight so around about four to five gigabytes all the time were used of RAM so you need so I have eight gigabytes of uh, RAM now in my uh, build in my to in my build in my PC um, but maybe 16 gigabytes would be better but yeah it's enough at the moment yeah and for, uh, it's also very necessary for such a traffic add-on if you um, set the if you do not set the traffic to five percent or something then you can also I think I don't really know whether it is like this but I think you can then also do it with four gigabytes but then there's nearly no tra air traffic and yeah um, last flight and the other flights here of this let's play Microsoft Flight Simulator X in English we uh, yeah we nearly had no other aircraft flying here around and we saw no other aircraft because I set the traffic to nearly five percent or lower because yeah this wasn't real aircraft here because of yeah, the standard uh, traffic of FSX so it's Orbit Airlines and World Travel Airlines and there are not a lot of different types of aircraft so I set it very so it was very low and yeah because of the air traffic add-on